We can express the sum or difference of sine and cosine functions as products, multiplication problems, using these formulas here. Uh, and so let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. It's simply a matter of matching up the um, expression you have to the formula that you need. So for example, if we start with uh, this uh, first difference problem, sine of 5 times theta minus sine of 3 times theta. So all I got to do is match up this, the formula that's sine minus sine. So taking a look at my different options here, I can see that my sine minus sine formula is this right here. So it's just, again, simply a matter of getting your different a and b values, your theta values, plugged into the formula. So uh, this one would look like, let me just consult my notes, uh, it would be 2 times the sine of of a minus b. So in this case, let's just do that work in our head. So a minus b is going to, of course, just be 2 theta divided by 2. And then my formula says to do this times the cosine of a plus b, so 5 uh, theta plus 3 theta is 8 theta, over 2. And so then go ahead and uh, going through and simplifying these different fractions, I would have a product of 2 times the sine of just theta times the cosine of 4 theta. And I'll put 4 theta in parentheses. And uh, that's really it. That's all we're going to do. So I've taken an expression that was written as a difference problem and written it as a product, a multiplication problem. And same thing here, let's match up our uh, expression to our formulas. I've got, the cosi I've got the sum of two cosines. So looking back at my formulas, uh, the one that has both uh, cosines being added together looks to be this, second for or this third formula right here. So let's go ahead and get our a and b values plugged into that and simplify if we can. So uh, using a and b as the first theta and second theta, of course, I would have a formula of 2 times the cosine of a plus b, so in this case that's going to give me 5 theta over 2, and this one won't divide out evenly, but that's just fine, uh, and then times the cosine of a minus b, again I'm just using my formulas from the other screen, uh, of theta over 2, and since these can't be simplified, I'm not going to, I'm just going to put them in parentheses and say that there is my uh, product answer, my, my uh, answer rewritten as a product, okay, and we'll just do one more because there is one thing that may come up with these that just make them a little more difficult. Uh, or really just add an extra step, and that's if you have a negative theta value. So let's try this one. The sine of uh, 3 theta plus the sine of 7 theta. So again, looking at my formulas, the one that's got the sum of sines would be this top formula up here. So let's get our a and b values plugged in and then simplify. So applying that formula then, uh, to write this as a product, I would have 2 times the sine of a plus b, so that's going to be 10 theta over 2 and then times the cosine of a minus b. So in this case, uh, when I subtract in that order, I get negative 4 theta over 2. Uh, and so let's go ahead and simplify that and then talk about what to do with that negative sign. So I would have 2 times the sine of 5 theta times the cosine, so I'll put that in parentheses, times the cosine of negative 2 theta. And now I never want to leave a negative uh, in these problems, and so what we've done before, uh, what we've always done with negative angles, is I can always use our even odd properties to get rid of that negative angle. We never need to leave a negative uh, angle in those parentheses. With cosine, our properties told us that we can just get rid of that negative sign completely. Um, so the cosine of negative 2 theta is the same thing as the cosine of positive 2 theta. So I'm just going to make that a plus sign or just erase it. Uh, I don't need to do anything else with that negative if it's cosine. Uh, so that will be my final answer. Now if this was a sign of a negative angle, sign, um, you'd have to take that negative and bring it out to the front of your entire term. So if this, let's just pretend that this was a sign problem with a negative 2 theta, I could still turn it into a plus sign there, but that negative sign would have to come out front. But again, that's only if you're dealing with sine. With cosine, you can just go ahead and get rid of your negative.